What's up guys? Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com. So quick video today. I wanted to talk about one of my favorite add-ons. It's currently on sale inside of the Blender Market Summer Sale Decal Machine. So we've talked about Decal Machine before. It's really great for applying different decals, but I wanted to talk about what it might look like if you decided you wanted to use Decal Machine to create your own custom decals. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I've got this low poly um, suitcase model from Thunder that I downloaded from Sketchfab. And what I wanna do is I wanna bring this in and I wanna add some stickers to the outside of it. Right, and so currently, if we uh, tap the D key to get in here, there's just not really like built in what we're looking for. These are all very like military. So I want to add some stickers. So first thing I did is I found some stickers, and specifically I downloaded this stickers image from textures.com, which you can download for free. Um, it just comes in as an image that, that you can then work with. Okay, and so this actually has a built in tool designed to help you create decals really quickly. So what you can do is you can tap the N key on your keyboard. You wanna to go to the machine window right here and you wanna click on the option for create decals. What that's gonna do is that's gonna open up the decal creation Blender file where you can actually create your own decals. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna import our images. So the first thing we need to do is strip out some sticker images from that overall image that we got. And so you can really do this in any image editor. Um, I actually did it in Photoshop, but if you don't have Photoshop, you can go to photop.com and I'll show you how to do that real quick. So what you wanna do is you wanna open up this image. So you just do a file, open, and you import that image. Well, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna use one of the select tools. In this case, I'm just gonna use the polygonal lasso select. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this whole thing, just select, the outside of it like this. So now I've got this selected. Now what I wanna do is I want to um, import this selection as its own image. So I'm just gonna do a control C to copy it. And then I'm just gonna add a new file. And in this case, notice how when I have something selected, it'll automatically try to create something that's the size of your selection. So I'm just gonna click on create right here, that's going to create something that's that size and then I can do a control V. So basically I just copied this and then I pasted it into my own project. I'm gonna turn off the background so that it's transparent and then I'm just gonna export this. So I'm gonna do an export as PNG save it on my computer. And so I've actually done this three times with three different stickers um, so that we can bring all of these in to Decal Machine. So now we're gonna go back to Blender. And what we wanna do is we wanna go over here to the Create panel. We wanna create a decal and we wanna use the info function right here. And there's nothing in here yet that really looks familiar. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the option for Source Image. So when you do that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to load images in. So if I click on load images and I go to that folder, you can see how all three images are in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select them all, click on open image. So we wanna click on load image and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on the button for all source images at once. So we're gonna do a batch creation. This is gonna create multiple info decals for us right here. And you can see how it's actually gonna bring these in to your decal machine creation file right here. And it's going to save them currently as instant decals. Those are basically like temporary decals, the temporary file. And so next, what I wanna do is notice how down below, there's an option in here where I can select these different files and you can do a shift click to select them if you want, but notice how it gives you the option to add to user decal library. So if you have multiple libraries in here, you can open up your different folders. I just have a my decals. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the decals based on the file name. So I'm gonna check the box for file name right here. I'm gonna click on the option to add decals to library. So now these three decals have been saved in your decal library folder. Now, if we go back to our other file. All right, so now we've got our suitcase file back in our uh, file that we created before. But if I select this and tap the D key, notice how in the My Decals folder, those stickers are now gonna show up. These are in here twice because I added them before, so don't worry too much about that. But let's say I wanna add this sticker right here. I can just click on it and it's gonna add that sticker to my scene right here. And so we've got this decal that we created in here. And so you can move this closer if you decide that you wanna do that, you can also um, tap the D key and go to the adjust function and you can do an alt left and right in order to adjust how far off the surface this is right here. So usually you want it like slightly off the surface um, just so that you get, whoops, 
just so that you don't get any Z fighting or anything like that. But then once you're done, you've got this nice decal that's gone on this face. And you can do that for all of these different decals that you had in here. So I could add this sticker. I could add this sticker right here. So adding those decals is now super easy and those live in my library. So you could create multiple different libraries of stickers if you decided that you wanted to do that. And so you can create other kinds of decals too really quickly. So if you go into your machine window right here, I'm gonna click on create decals again. Notice how that does take you into this other file, but not only do you have the ability to add um, this info right here with an image, you can also do it with text. So let's say for example, that I wanted um, some kind of text sticker. So you can click in here. And so let's say I just wanted something that said the CG essentials right here. So I've got text in here, I've got colors, I can adjust like the padding and offset other things like that. Let's say we wanted this to be like a blue sticker, right? You can set that right here. You can click on create info decal and that's going to create a text sticker right here using that text. So we've got that in here. If we wanted to save that, we could do the same thing where we could just take that decal, add it to our library. And in this case, I'm just gonna call it the CG Essentials and click on add decal to library. So we're gonna be able to create this and now it's gonna show up in our list. So if I tap D, look at the my decals, my text decal has been added in here. So if I jump back into the suitcase file that we had before, Oops, that's not what I wanted. If I tap the D key, add a decal right here, notice how now I've got a CG Essentials decal that goes on this surface. So we're gonna adjust that a little bit. So we can tap the D key, go to adjust. And so we can do things like, a, like rotating it. If we move our scroll wheel, then if we move this over, rotate it, maybe scale it down. We tap the D key and do a project. It's going to try to bend it around this corner right here. Remember decal machine is currently on sale in the blender market summer sale, but I will link to some other videos about some other things you can do with this tool as well. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you're using decal machine. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.